friends, welcome to Life on Summer Hill. My name is Linda, and if you are new here, this is a home decor DIY YouTube channel. So today we're going to talk about off-white paint colors. And if you've been hanging around me very long, you know I love to share paint colors um, because I'm an interior designer and paint is like one of the cheapest and biggest things you can do to your house to transform it. Um, the right paint colors can make a room so much better and the wrong paint colors can make a room not so much better. So we're going to talk about off-white today and we are going to break down some of the best colors to choose from, why off-white is a good color for your interior or exterior. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I want to talk about off-white and also to say we are going to focus on Sherwin-Williams colors. So let's talk about off-white and why off-white is a good color for you to consider. First of all, it is timeless. It is versatile. Um, it's easy to clean because it is a white, a shade of white, so you can see if it is dirty and know to clean it. Um, it is a great color for your interior and your exterior. And it is also a wonderful color if you have a dark room. If you have a room that doesn't get a lot of natural light, off-white's gonna be good for you because it has a high light reflective value, meaning light will bounce off of the paint on the wall and it will allow the room to feel more spacious and brighter. So um, those are the details I want you first to know about, about off-white. And then now we're going to dive into each color that I'm recommending uh, or that I have used with clients. And, um, and then we are going to look at some rooms with each of those colors. Okay, so the first color is Accessible Beige. And this is the darkest of the off-whites that I am recommending. This color is so, um, it's so dark for the off-whites that it is on the verge of beige and grige, depending upon where you're putting it. So um, if you want a off-white that's gonna contrast beautifully with a white, this is a good color. So my first example is by Jenna Sue Design, and this is a bathroom that she did with a beautiful accent wall that has beautiful trim and molding on it. And you can see how well this color contrasts with white by looking at the lampshades on the lighting and that white wall to the left. So this is a great color if you want that contrast and if you don't want a bright, bright off-white, this is a great color. It has a light reflectance value, I think a 58. Uh, yes, a 58 and which, uh, which means the lighting absorbs more into the paint color rather than bouncing off of it, but it's still above 50 and that is a good thing. This next color is Soji White SW7042. And this um, home is actually what inspired me to write this whole blog post, which I'll put a link in the description to the blog post um, and to create this video. So this is my daughter's brick home and she was looking for a white. She did not want a, um, a white that was super bright and stark. She wanted something that was warmer, but yet did not read um, warm hues or cool hues. She wanted something that was creamy, but not yellow, if that makes sense. So on her house, they painted all the woodwork and all the trim uh, shoji white. And this is a warm, creamy white that leans towards grayish. So that'll help you paint a picture. It has a light reflectance value of 74. So it is anything above 70 is gonna bounce light better. Uh, anything above 80 is white, white, I generally say. So this is definitely not a white, white, but on the exterior of a house, it's going to look like a white, white. On the interior, it's going to look darker. So it is not gonna be as dark as accessible beige, so if accessible beige is too dark for you, then I would look at shoji white 
for your interior. Our next color is Eider White. This is SW7014, and this color is in uh, painted on a kitchen cabinet. Um, this color has a light reflectance value of 73, and this is a beautiful grayish white, off-white paint color. Um, this cabinet in this house that's been painted with this color is by Steffi Englewood, and as you can see, it is a beautiful kitchen cabinet color. So the lighting out here got really, really strange, and um, I'm going to move inside. So let's move into my rocking chair room. Okay, so I moved on to my front porch because the lighting out here seems to be better. I, I'm not sure what was going on. It was like the sun went behind the clouds and it just started looking really weird on the camera. <laughs> I'm not sure if y'all could see that, but from my end, it looked really weird. So let me move this over a little bit. Yeah, because my glasses had like a glare. Okay, that's better. Okay, so next on our list is alabaster and if you've been hanging around me very long you know i love alabaster it's one of my favorite white colors to paint on the interior so this bathroom is a bathroom i did in north carolina this is my niece's guest bathroom um, it was pretty much a makeover in the sense that we had to work on a mirror issue because her cabinet was in the corner we had to work on some lighting and then we painted the whole thing this beautiful alabaster color she has a tiny little window, so not a lot of natural light. So this would really open up the space, make it feel larger, more spacious, and just overall a, a good feeling when you walk into the room. So this is that beautiful room, bathroom by my niece, and it's painted alabaster white. Okay, next on the list is Snowbound SW7004. And this home is by my sweet friend, Jennifer, who lives in Tennessee. And she um, is also a designer and she spent some time researching colors for her exterior. And one of the things she did was she put multiple colors, she had them paint multiple colors along the exterior of her house. And Snowbound was just the color that fit what she was looking for. This is a warm, soft white that can appear grayish in certain lighting conditions. So it's a wonderful color to use on your exterior and your interior. Um, it looks beautiful on cabinets, on furniture, on walls. I've seen it used just about on everything and it looks fantastic. Okay, next on the list is pure white and that's SW7005. This is another fantastic, popular, one of the most sold colors by Sherwin-Williams. Um, now, one thing I wanted to point out to you, once you get to Snowbound and Pure White, these are white, white colors, but with warmer or gray undertones. So meaning they, they definitely are softer. They're not just pure, even though this is called Pure White. <laughs> They're not just like white, white. They have a little bit of color in them to soften them. So um, this beautiful cabinet by Tina at Mimi's House We Go on Instagram is a great example of pure white. It has a light reflectance value of 84. This color um, is a warm, bright white. Remember that, a warm, bright white. So if you want a beautiful, warm, bright white on your cabinets or in a room, this will be a good one. One of the downsides of this color is it can lean yellow. So if you are using incandescent lights that have a warm Kelvin, this uh, color may be more of a yellow color. So keep that in mind when you are picking out your light bulbs for your lighting in the room. Okay, so how do you pick the right off-white color for you? So to start with, I always recommend go to the top colors by the brand you're looking at. Now also remember if you are watching this and let's say you are wanting to buy a Bear paint or a Benjamin Moore paint, most likely Bear and Benjamin Moore have the formulas for these Sherwin-William colors. And the reason why I bring this up is because the closest 
paint store to my house that I can get in and out of quickly is Sherwin-Williams. So I tend to go there more than anywhere else because it's easy. When you are picking an off-white color, look at those top colors. Narrow it down to like five or three. If you can get it down to three, do three. But this is how I do it. I generally, with a client, will pull five colors. I'll put all five colors up on the wall, the paint chips. Then what I do is I ask them, which one's your least favorite? Which one do you instantly say, I don't like that color? And usually there's one or two that they don't like. So we pull those off. Now in this situation, because these colors are so close together, you might have more trouble with that. So ask yourself, do I want a warm undertone white or cool undertone white? Go back to my notes in my blog post and I, it will say in there if it has a warm undertone or cool undertone. And then you can narrow it down from there. Next, you need to determine how much, uh, how bright you want it to be. If you, have, if you want a really bright room and you don't have a lot of natural light, go higher with the LRV. So alabaster would be a good one for you. If you want a moody dark room and you don't have a lot of natural light, but you don't want it to be so dark that you can't see when you're in there, then Accessible Mage might be perfect for you. So I have a blog post on how to pick paint colors that gives you more tips on picking paint. So I'll put a link in the description to that so you can check that out. So in conclusion, off-whites match all design styles, whether you're traditional, Scandinavian, boho, farmhouse, cottagecore, whatever your style, this color will work for you. So take some time and look at these Sherwin-William colors and pick out your top ones, head to the paint store, get some paint chips, and start picking a paint color for your house. So I wanna take a moment just to thank you for joining me here at Life on Summer Hill. If you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future episodes. Uh, I wish you luck on picking an off-white paint color and I hope you have found this video helpful and I hope you are having a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.